Okay, it is time to start the bee. Um, I'm going to first start by reading the instructions that National Geographic has for everyone. And it starts off with, your first instruction is to relax. <laughs> and enjoy the bee. Please remember that the bee questions are designed to test your knowledge of geography, not to confuse you with trick questions. The preliminary competition consists of six rounds. We're, we're really going to try to do six rounds. If it seems like it's getting way too long because there are so many contestants, if it does get too long, we might have to do five, but we'll, we're going to try to do six rounds. I will ask each of you one question from each round. You'll have 15 seconds to answer. You must start to give your answer before the time limit is up. You may interrupt the preliminary competition only twice to have either a question repeated or a word spelled. If you want me to repeat a question or to spell a word in a question, you must ask me immediately. After I finish repeating the question or spelling the word, you will have the rest of your 15 seconds to answer. If you give the correct answer, I'll acknowledge it, it and I'll award you one point. And then I will move on to the next contestant. If you give an incorrect answer, I'll tell you so and give the correct answer. If you do not know the answer, you may say pass before the time is up. But in all of the rounds that you'll have this evening, there's always a choice of answers. So I suggest you not pass and just make a guess, make your best guess. Uh, pass is always recorded as an incorrect answer in the score. If you do not answer within 15 seconds, Mrs. Easton will say time and then you will have to give your answer then. Each preliminary round will begin with the same student and that's going to be Adriana. At the end of the six preliminary rounds, your points will be totaled. If, um, if what we, the idea of the preliminary rounds is we are going to go from 20, 22 students down to two for the final competition. So what will happen at the end of the six rounds, if there are two who are the highest scorers, then they will stay on for the championship round. If there's more than two, if there's a tie, then we have a tiebreaker round. Remember to listen carefully to every question and use correct geographic terminology in your answers. For example, don't use Holland as a synonym for the Netherlands, or don't use England uh, for the country United Kingdom of Great Britain. Uh, you need to get present day names unless the question involves history, but as I said before, you will be given a choice of answers. So you don't really um, need to worry about saying the wrong country name. I'm going to say, um, You won't be penalized for incorrect pronunciations as long as it can be determined that you know the correct answer. B questions follow the National Geographic Society's policy of recognizing Europe and Asia as two continents. Oceania is considered a region rather than a continent, and it will not be accepted as a correct answer for the continent of Australia. In addition, the National Geographic Society recognizes four oceans, Arctic, Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific. 
All information was current at the time the B questions were written and went to press in early October. Good luck. You're going to, you're going to do fine, I'm sure. It, it's really, this is just a really fun event that I look forward to every year. So you are, you're going to do great. All right, we are going to start with Adriana. So if you would go up to the mic, Adriana. Our first round, round one, is called United States Geography. So all of these, the questions are about the United States. And your question is, Adriana, Pensacola Bay, an arm of the Gulf of Mexico, borders which state? Florida or South Carolina? Florida. That's correct. Okay, Olivia. Okay, Olivia, your question is, the Painted Desert is located near Flagstaff in which state? North Dakota or Arizona? Arizona. That's correct. Okay, Noah. Noah, which state includes White Sands National Monument? Is it New Mexico or Vermont? New Mexico. That's correct. Alyssa. Okay, Alyssa. The Mojave National Preserve is located in a desert region in which state? California or Mississippi? California. That's correct. Okay, Samantha. Samantha, located beneath the Great Plains, a large section of the Ogallala Aquifer lies under which state? Virginia or Nebraska? Nebraska. That's correct. Julius. Julius, which state is drained by the Arkansas and Red Rivers? Pennsylvania or Oklahoma? Oklahoma. That's correct. Okay, Jameson. Okay, your question is, which state includes part of the Great Appalachian Valley. Is it Tennessee or Louisiana? Louisiana? No, I'm sorry, that one was Tennessee. Good try. Good try. All right. We are at Jake. Jake, this is your question. Which state borders the Canadian province of Quebec? Is it Vermont or Missouri? Vermont. That's correct. Okay, now we are Caitlin. Caitlin, your question is, which state includes Rocky Mountain National Park? Is it Kansas or Colorado? Colorado. That's correct. Devin, where are you? Okay. Devin, this is your question. Casco Bay, an inlet of the Atlantic Ocean, is located in which state? Kentucky or Maine? Maine. That's correct. Columbia River forms much of the northern border of which state? Oregon or Utah? Oregon? That's correct. OK, 
Continental Divide, also known as the Great Divide, crosses which state? Oklahoma or Wyoming? Oklahoma. No, I'm sorry, that was Wyoming. Good try. Okay, Morgan. All right, Morgan, your question is, which state borders Lake Erie? Is it Nevada or Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania. That's correct. Okay, great. You can also come out this side too if it feels like it's closer to get to the mic. All right, great. Here's your question. The Klondike Gold Rush National Historic Park is located in which state? Is it Alaska or Wisconsin? Wisconsin? No, that's a good try. It was Alaska. Okay, Gabe. Gabe, Mount Jackson of Pekin Glacier National Park is located in which state? Montana or Iowa? Montana. That's correct. Okay, Chase. Chase, which state includes part of the Cascade Range? Is it Washington or Michigan? Michigan. No, I'm sorry, that one was Washington. Good try. All right, we are now in India. Hi, Andrea. <coughs> All right, Andrea, your question is, part of the Ozark Plateau is in which state? Missouri or Connecticut? Missouri. That's correct. Autumn. Okay, Autumn, your question is, which state borders Tennessee? Is it Mississippi or New York? Mississippi. That's correct. Kylie. All right, Kylie, which state is located in the Midwest? Is it Oregon or Indiana? Indiana. That's correct. Riley. Okay, Riley. The Maumee River flows through the city of Toledo in which state? Is it West Virginia or Ohio? Ohio. That's correct. Nick. All right, Nick. The Connecticut River forms the border between Vermont and which other state? Montana or New Hampshire? Montana. No, I'm sorry. Nick, that one was New Hampshire. Okay, and this is the last contestant in round number one, Dennis. Dennis, here's your question. Which state is part of the Mid-Atlantic region? Is it Delaware or Tennessee? Delaware. And it is Delaware. Now we've finished one round, so let's applaud all the contestants for their one round.